Well, hello there, Shady Rocks here. I thought I'd do a little sort of uh, reaction first look video about the new PS5 controller. So as you can see, oh no, 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 wait a minute. That's not, that's not it, that's not it. So yeah, Sony have announced this new um, PlayStation 5 uh, controller, Dual Sense. So uh, it seems to have made the internet go completely <laughs> wild. People either love it or they hate it. My first impressions when I saw it, I must admit, I did think it looks like PlayStation and Xbox have had a bit of a boozy night, and then this, as, as yeah, this has happened. I'm sort of getting a bit of a vibe of, um, it does, it reminds me of Portal, I don't know why. It just, it looks nice and clean. Um, I don't know why they've gone between the two colour schemes. Uh, the thing I want to talk about, right, so uh, they've changed the layout of this slightly. So apparently there no longer is gonna, there's no longer going to be a share button on it. Um, and they're now going to change it to a create button. And uh, yeah, apparently it's going to be, it's still got the sort of similar functionality to the share, but they're doing it all into uh, one button or something. Um, a lot of people have been worried about... Uh, you can't really see on these pictures if there is a microphone input. It doesn't really show you. Let's have a little look. So if you look at this, that's actually USB-C as well. Um, so it's the same that the Nintendo DS uses, which I thought was a bit interesting. They've not gone for micro uh, USB. Be interesting to see the, the buttons, how you know how clear they are. I, I'm a bit. I'm wondering, wondering if they're gonna. Um, get dirty but the f I think the thing that I'm most that I'm most upset about is they've got rid of the colours on the buttons I like them that was iconic it was iconic for the colours for the buttons so that's a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a, a thing I don't like but one of the things I did want to talk about was the where is it here so the actual product manager for dual sensors confirmed it will have audio jack to headset support so yeah, you can still plug in your own headsets like the DualShock 4. So I've been looking on a few of these um, websites and different sort of reviews and stuff. So as you can see here, people are sort of, uh, <laughs> they're having very different <laughs> reactions to it. I don't know if this is what Sony hoped. I don't know if they thought... <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I don't know if they thought people were gonna react like this. Uh, yeah, that's. I mean, to be honest, I'm quite surprised they don't do something like that and have the option at launch of a white or black. But it begs the question: if they are going to do the controller all in white like that, what the heck are they gonna do to the console? Is the console going to be in white? Is it going to be split between the two? Are they going to have different like launch machines with, you know, different um, custom controllers? Because some of the actual controllers that people are doing are pretty cool. I mean, look at this though. This is like what somebody else has done over on um, Reddit. This was this was by um, Dorm, Dorm Streams and just done some mock-ups here of what... Like, if I think Sony are missing out here. If Sony... I know it's expensive to do production wise, but if Sony could do like sort of skins somehow that are easy to apply to the controllers, because we're not, we're not all, no, no, we don't want that. <laughs> we're not all going to want to have a controller that looks like that, but I don't know. I guess, I guess it's something we will get used to, but I am just quite interested to, uh, to see what it's actually going to be like. Because I did notice if you look underneath the middle, of the controller, I'm guessing that is where the microphone input is, where people said it wasn't actually there. So yeah, it does look like that's there. Now, there's quite a good article over on, let me see. I think it was over here on Scene of All Places. So this basically is talking about the features of the PlayStation 5 controller. So as we all know, it's gonna have haptic feedback, which is gonna be a, um, a sort of almost like a vib like a vibration sort of feeling in the buttons. So an example, a good example it gives here is that if you're playing like a racing game, so it'll have like a um, a gradual sort of like vibrational like grittiness of driving through mud. Uh, that is going to be in the L2 and R2 buttons. Oh no no no, haptic feed. So is the haptic feedback going to be all in the controller then? 
I think it might be. Adaptive triggers into L2 and R2, so you can feel attention to your actions. So whether the haptic feedback means it's just the whole controller itself is going to have like a, uh, a, vi a vibration, but to be honest, a lot of the times the vibration, I ended up just turning it off because I used to find it sort of quite distracting on some of the games you were playing. Um, as I mentioned here, they're getting rid of the crate button. Uh, with crates, we once again pioneered new ways for players to create epic gameplay contact to share with the world. I'm personally hoping the the review, the sharing part of it, and they're going to integrate it more with like Mixer, uh, Twitch, sort of social media to make it easy to actually, you know, to stream, to share moments and things like that because... I don't want to be having to like go through multiple sub menus to, to you know to instantly create stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping that is going to be a little bit of a change. Um, as it said here, yeah, it does. It's going to have the uh, the audio the audio jack in it. So that's that's uh, that's pretty good. So yeah, it does it does look like it's going to be pretty uh, pretty cool. And if, I think if they do actually um, manage to swing us round to actually. Uh, liking the look of this it's um I'm, th I'm thinking it could i'm thinking it could be good but it's such an iconic thing it's 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 hard it's hard to switch away from it i, I admit so this uh was a good article on GameSpot as well they've got a good article about the um the ps5 controller so let's have a little look at this so the uh, two tone colors is design. So, as we've mentioned, this is completely different than previous DualShock controllers. Two tone design. The light bar placement has also changed. So instead of being on the top where you can't even see it, as you can see, it is down the uh, so the left and the right hand sides. Um, and according to Sony, it will grant it a slightly larger look and feel. Is that just like publishing talk? Was, I mean. It might be better because I did find the DualShock controller. It was like just a blinding beacon of a light sometimes. So if, as long as it's subdued and it's not like some intense RGB, look how cool my PC is lights. Because yeah, I don't want none of that. I'm 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 quite interested in the fact that they look like they've not got rid of the rubberized buttons on the top. Now, personally, I don't like them. I like to replace them with something else because they end up ripping. They end up like uh, getting really sort of tatty. So I'm quite surprised they've st stuck with that, to be honest. Um, they do say the controller seems to have a slightly thicker form factor than the DualShock 4, but they've not got exact specs. So we, we can just speculate from the pictures because I have had people comment about the actual buttons here. Are they actually lowered down? The, uh, the dual controls. I don't know if they are. It's so hard to visualize and not having one on hand. Um, now, I, I mentioned before about the haptic there. So, yeah, as I've mentioned it before, we've got the haptic. And it's apparently it's the same technology behind the Nintendo Switch's HD rumble. Uh, Xbox Series X controller is going to make use of it as well. And we're going to have ad adaptive triggers on L2 and R2. Uh, rechargeable battery. There's, no, there's nothing yet to say about uh how long the battery is actually going to last on that so that's going to be quite interesting to see how long the uh the charger actually lasts on the battery because uh i have had some people mention you know they hope it lasts about four or five hours but we'll just have to wait and see now this is pretty interesting it's gonna have a built-in microphone now this is a bit of a i don't know if i'm quite happy with that and not because I've used a lot of uh, headset microphones and condenser microphones and dynamic microphones, and I'm a bit worried that the microphone on the the controller is going to be absolutely potato. It's um, I'm, I'll wait. I'm waiting with bated breath. It might be a game changer, or it might sound like I've got a Logitech free gooseneck microphone and I'm in a toilet. Who knows? Uh, as mentioned again, crate button's been changed, and yeah, that's all the sort of information we've got for us at the moment then. So, yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. If you're excited about it, if you think, uh, you know, if you can think of anything that, that, that they should actually implement on this. Um, my, my initial thoughts are, I think the, the, the colour is the biggest thing that's going to be a bit of a, bit of a shock, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Anyway. Let me know what you think of the uh, the colour schemes they've used and what colour schemes you'd like to see. 
Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.